Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon on the YouTube app to never miss an update from the Beverage Trade Network. I'm a certified sommelier in San Francisco, California. I've been here for about nine years. I got into the wine industry when I lived in France for a year when I was 17. I uh, lived with a French family and they introduced me to wine. They were part Vietnamese, part from Northern Africa. And um, living in the Southern France, you're eating a lot of seafood. And they would pick out a bottle of wine and I would taste it and drink it and they'd have me describe it. Ever since then, I fell in love with wine and food and wine pairing. So it started when I moved back from France. Um, I went to San Francisco State University and I got my first job at a French restaurant called Le Zinc in Noe Valley and started to learn about French wine there and French food again. And from there, I wanted to keep pursuing wine. So I got a job at Press Club, which is a wine bar in downtown San Francisco, where I learned about Italian wines and where I see my um, Italian wine specialist certificate as well with the wine director, Mara, there. From there, I graduated from San Francisco State University in a degree in cultural anthropology, which I felt a lot had to do with like, the wine industry, because when you're studying wine you're studying like the culture the people the food the history and that's with wine as well it all kind of ties in together um, from press club i uh, moved to napa for a year and i worked at Teresa boris winery where i learned about winemaking with julie johnson her and her ex-husband john williams started frog sleep winery on the property so it was a really cool way to get the history of napa valley while running a tasting room their wine club very small production about 3500 cases um, and got to work harvest as well, which is a really fun time to be in Napa. And from there, um, I got a job at Arlequin Wine Merchant, um, working in retail in San Francisco. Basically, I loved wine so much, I wanted to kind of pursue every possible wine job there was. So by working at a wine bar, to a winery, and then a wine shop, um, and there they specialized in a lot of wine from Burgundy and um, it was just a great opportunity to meet winemakers and um, taste a bunch of wine as well. And from there I became the wine director at Dirty Water where I ran the beverage program for three years. Well, there is a really great community in San Francisco for people that want to learn about wine. And ever since I worked, I think at, um, at Press Club, every week we would have a tasting group with our wine director and wine tasting the wines. And from there, I kind of fell in love with the idea of like learning how to blind taste. Um, it could be really intimidating at first, but once you kind of warmed up to the idea, it could be really fun. And then also just studying about wine um, because Italian wines at that time were just so, it was so difficult to understand compared to the French wine region. So um, going from the small tasting group there and for people going on to their level one, to their level two certification as well, I met people at Arlequin Wine Merchant and then also becoming a wine buyer at Dirty Water. Everyone was so generous in helping you out um, with wine tastings or study groups. And there's just a really strong sense of community here in San Francisco um, where it was pretty easy to find people who'd want to study with you. Uh, I was inspired by the wine director at Press Club, Mauro, um, and just, I felt pretty comfortable with French wine, just because I speak French, living in France, and then working at the French restaurant. Um, but Italian wines, there's just so many different varietals, so many different regions, it's a different language, and it felt quite comfortable with like pronouncing everything. Um, and taste-wise, I hadn't tasted a lot of Italian wines as well, because living in France, we just drank a lot of French wine. So it was just a whole new world to discover, discover with Italian wine. And um, the Italian wine specialist certification that I did was really insightful. It was really long days. It was like eight hour days of nonstop, like starting at 8 a.m. and drinking Italian wine and just nonstop Italian language as well. But in the end, I was super happy that I did it. And,
My favorite regions of Italy. Um, I mean, I love wines from like Southern Italy. I think they're super rustic and there's so, so many different styles. Um, I just, I think kind of depends on my mood and what I'm eating because there's just so many different types of wines there and it's so much fun to discover. And also I did take a specialist course on it, but I always just rediscover more wines and varietals um, the more that I get into wine. Favorite food and wine pairing? That's a tough one. <laughs> I, I one of my favorite grape varietals, Chenin Blanc, because it can be made so many different variety of styles and sparkling and sweet wines. Um, and I love wines just, I, I love like Ouette with some age on it, Demi Sec. It's just so delicious with some like nice creamy cheese or something like that, yeah. Um, so I was fortunate enough when I was a wine buyer to be invited on a variety of different trips through like the wines of Washington, wines of Germany, um, also through distributors and importers in um, Spain, Portugal, France, and South America. It was um, a really good insight because as you study these regions, um, it's a completely different experience to actually go to these regions and drink the wines with the winemakers and eat the local food and meet the people, meet the producers. And so when you come back to your restaurant or retail shop and you're able to connect with your guests about these stories, um, about the winemakers and the regions, um, it makes it so much more fun of a, an item to sell when you have a connection and you're able to connect with a guest about that as well. So with the wines of Washington, um, I really didn't know much about Washington wines and we went around the whole state and tasted a variety of different wines and met a lot of winemakers and I learned a lot and drank a lot and it was a really good trip and same with the wines of Germany. Um, and what's also great about these trips though is I get to connect from with other wine buyers around the country and around the world like the wines of Germany was buyers from all around the world. And I still keep in touch with those people and it's fun to talk about the industries what's happening in San Francisco versus the East Coast and different programs they run. Um, I think it's just a really good learning experience as well, just connecting with other songs. I'm not too sure, but I think also when like just planning travels and just reaching out to maybe the local sommeliers, because even on like the Wines of Washington trip, uh, meeting, like going out to a restaurant on my own and just meeting some of the Psalms in the restaurants and connecting them, with them and like asking where they like to go. Um, and I think there's just a connection when you work in the food and beverage industry and you go to restaurants and wineries and you're just able to kind of make that connection and recommendations and just being there because they want to show you a really good time as well. Hi, my name is Tara Herrick and I'm a certified sommelier. Thank you for tuning in to sommelierbusiness.com.